Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, Apple is a freaking savage. Apple shuts down all of Google's internal apps for abusing their enterprise certificate. Now, if you guys missed yesterday's video, uh, Apple was a savage and shut down all of Facebook's internal apps for abusing it. And in that video, I said, I want Apple to do the same thing to Google just to put the ban hammer down and show these guys that they're serious about this. And that is exactly what has done. Apple revoked Google's enterprise certificate and as a result, none of Google's internal apps are functional. Pre-release versions of iOS apps like Google Maps, Hangouts, Gmail, and more stopped working today, along with employee transportation and cafe apps. So any internal app that Google had, that their employees had, just stopped working. So this is a huge problem for Google now, and it was a problem for Facebook as well. Now this was updated, which again is why I don't jump into these, you know, right off the bat. I, I like to actually get the full story. So they were updated. Um, and apparently it says we are working together with Google to help them reinstate their enterprise certificates very quickly. So Apple is actually working on them with this, but that is great that Apple is cracking down on this. They need to do this more. Um, and it's just good that Apple is actually putting their foot down. I respect that. So good on you, Apple. Now, a questionable rumor suggests that iOS 13 will drop compatibility for iPhone 5S through the 6S. Now, again, this one was also updated, which is again, why I don't jump on these stories right away. But this is a very, very questionable rumor. Um, and it's from an Israeli site. And that's basically what they were saying. They say that iOS 13 will be unavailable on the 5S, SE, 6, 6 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus. So yeah, that's uh, kind of concerning. If we scroll down here, their update said the verifier has updated the original article to list the lack of iOS 13 support for the iPhone SE and iPhone 6S as questionable rather than concrete. So basically they're not sure, and this is just a rumor, but if you do have one of those older phones, Apple usually will give you support for a while. Um, but again, those are older phones, they're getting slower, you know, as time goes on, they're not going to be able to um, withstand a lot of the apps that the app store keeps putting out, you know, better and better apps. So if you have one of those, you might want to think about upgrading anyway, especially if iOS 13 is not compatible. Now, Apple better have a really good reason for not releasing iOS 12.1.4 today. Um, as we predicted, it actually did not happen. Uh, I thought it would be out at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. You guys can watch my last video. I hold myself accountable to these things. I was wrong. But that is actually a little bit weird because their typical day, if they're going to do something like this, um, would be on a Tuesday or Thursday, usually a Tuesday, but obviously they didn't do it then. Um, but yeah, so we're expecting it tomorrow uh, morning sometime, hopefully, uh, or tomorrow around 1 p.m. or 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we'll have to see, but this is very weird. Now, in analytics, it is showing that there are more devices uh, running this 12.1.4, which kind of makes you think that Apple was not even working on this before this bug happened. So that could explain why they don't have it right away. Like they can't just release something. They have to test it quite a bit um, and make sure it doesn't break anything else. So I guess that's probably the reason why, but Apple really needs to uh, get this going. And the reason being is because right here, Canadian law firm applies for class action lawsuit over the FaceTime bug. So class action lawsuits, they're hit or miss. They're usually bullshit. Um, but in this case, I don't think they're going to get much money out of it, but they're going after Apple. I don't think anyone really deserves money necessarily for this. Um, I mean, it's a bug. Bugs happen. But for the fact that Apple didn't fix it so quickly, uh, I don't know. I, I just it leaves a bad taste in my mouth to think that, you know, Apple kind of knew about this or they had been alerted to it like over 10 days ago and they still didn't fix it. I don't like that, especially when they claim privacy is their thing. So whatever, we'll have to see what happens with this. I'll keep you guys updated. Now, this is a pretty weird article, I guess you would say. Puma debuts a $330 iPhone connected self-lacing sneaker to compete with Nike. Now, I think they're ugly, like right off the bat. I'm going to just say that I think they're ugly, but I think they're cool. So um, if you guys want to see me pick one of these up, uh, let me know it, they're launching in spring of 2020 priced at 330 bucks. Uh, I might be able to get a pre-release version. And if I do, let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. Uh, I do plan to do one if I get a pair of these. I don't think they look that good, but uh, it is what it is. They're kind of cool. All right. Now, if you guys were looking for the iPhone SE, it has made its third appearance now on the clearance store. So the first video, if you guys missed it, I told you to subscribe and turn on notifications. Then it came out the second time and I told you all about it. Now it's making a third round onto the Apple clearance store. So if you're quick, you guys can go grab it right now for $249. Don't know if it'll come back again. 
Uh, also follow us on Twitter because we tweeted about it as soon as we saw this as well. Yeah, that'll give you better chances. All right, two last quick stories. I know there's so much. I'm trying to keep these videos short, but I want to give you guys everything that happened in the news today with regards to Apple products. Now, a company called Compal is expected to assemble the iPad mini 5 launching later in 2019. Now, the only reason that I'm reporting on this is because it just solidifies a little bit the rumors from the other day where we said the iPad mini 5 and cheaper iPads uh, would be out in the first half of 2019. This solidifies that a little bit uh, in that they will be in 2019. Obviously, they're working on these. So we'll have to see what Apple does, but I just wanted to give you this information. Obviously, this story is a little bit off the wall here, but Nintendo is delaying the launch of Mario Kart Tour uh, until summer. Now, this was originally scheduled to launch before the company's fiscal year ending in March 2019, but they've delayed it a little. Uh, I guess that's fine if they want to perfect it. Uh, if it's really going to be a Mario Kart type game, that's cool. But I think a lot of people just want the old classic games on their phone. I don't know. A lot of us 90s kids, you know, that grew up with the different Pokemon games, like the full games, like Ruby and Emerald and Yellow and Gold and Blue, all those different Pokemon games, you know, a lot of people want them ported to the iPhone and I don't blame them. Uh, even the old Mario Kart games from DS, those would be cool ported onto the iPhone. Those would bring back so many memories of playing with friends. Of course, in LAN parties, you know, like next to each other, not, not over the internet. But it would be cool if they could implement that, maybe put a little twist on it where you could play people over the internet, but with the old timey games, those were a lot of fun. But anyways, they're delaying this a little bit. That's all the news that I got for today, guys. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.